Hey guys, you may recall a while back I was tinkering with ideas for making a custom shelving system to house some of my TVs, in particular my little 7 inch TVs. And I had gone so far as to make a little balsa wood model, but uh, I never actually started building anything. Well, I just happened to be at the Home Improvement Center and noticed these, which are prefabricated components to make uh, a cheap quick and dirty shelving system. They also sell a version in metal that uh, holds considerably more weight and is quite a bit deeper and eight feet tall which is what I really wanted but I decided that was just gross overkill. It could hold something like 4,000 pounds. It was just way too massive and somewhat more expensive. These were on sale for only eight bucks a pop. So it seemed a no-brainer to grab some and do some experimenting. So the idea is you get two or more and you space them however far apart you want and then you put boards uh, between them. Now the immediate downside for me, well there's two, one uh, they're only six feet tall and I would really like to go eight feet. The other is the spacing on these shelves is much wider than I need. I've measured out the sets I want to put on here and 10 inches is perfect. Whereas these uh, I think are 16 inches maybe. The whole thing is 6 feet tall. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 sections. So whatever 6 feet divided up into 4 pieces would be I guess a foot and a half. So I did some tinkering. I bought some uh, others the other day and my first thought was I could pop these metal things off and reposition the shelves. Oh no, no, these, uh, these are not meant to come off. So then I uh, cut them off with a Dremel wheel and positioned, and cut off, uh, or put in some new cross members and then thought, well, I need some cross members and then others I can just use a little stub because I don't need that much strength. These sets only weigh about 30 pounds each, so there's only gonna be about 15 pounds of weight on either side. Well, that would work, but that was getting to be too much work to cut all these off and all this look at these little bits of wood and all that. So what I decided to do was take a step back and get a couple fresh ones and not do any cutting of these, just leave them exactly as they are and stick with this concept of putting in little uh, stubs to support more shelves, but I'll just put them in between the existing ones. So the bottom, this will be a shelf, and I'll measure 10 inches up and put a block, and that'll be another shelf, another 10 inches up, another shelf. And I think this one ends up being in a decent enough position, that'll be another shelf, and then one more, and then one more, and then the top. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with these as is, so I'm going to go with that. Um, if this works out well, I may make a second one, and uh, maybe, or maybe add an extension to this one to get a little bit more height on it. But uh, I really want to get something going quickly and simply, and this seems the easiest way to go. And for the cross pieces, I'll use some uh, one by twos to uh, to bridge the gap. But before that, I want to uh, oh oh, I should mention something else to be very careful if you want to try using these. Choose them carefully. You get what you pay for. For only eight bucks, these aren't, these aren't, don't expect these to be precision made. They vary considerably with the spacing on these. I've seen some that are off as much as an inch and a half between the two. You can flip them end to end and maybe they'll line up better, but for sure, don't just grab two of these and think that these cross pieces are gonna line up. These are the two best I can find, and even so, there's still some variation. Uh, it's just not enough that I think it'll be a problem, but they're definitely not perfect. Oh, and once I have my extra shelf supports in place, I think I'll paint these to make them slightly less ugly. I have uh, several cans of off-white paint, I believe. I think I might go with that. And then maybe paint the cross support pieces, a contrast color, maybe black or something like that, just to give it a little, little more class, if that's even possible. Okay, I have finished putting in my extra shelf supports. 
up in the attic now and getting ready to paint these. I came up with a can of Painter's Touch Semi-Gloss White. Hopefully I've got enough in the one can to do both of these. And I noticed while putting in my extra supports that some of these, as I feared, uh, are not the greatest uh, quality control. So you can see the one on the back is considerably higher on the right than on the left. So I think when I assemble these I'll just have to use some shims to level things out. Well that was a good workout. I managed to get all these sets situated without any damage. No slipping, no cursing, no scratches. Bakelite sets are just sitting directly on the wood. The wooden sets I put felt pieces underneath the set so the felt is facing up. Because I knew from the very beginning that the spacing wasn't going to be right for all the feet to sit on there so they're sitting on felt that's just fine so top to bottom we have a very early rather unusual walnut version of the VT71 below that a blonde VT71 and below that a mahogany VT71 pretty much all the sets in here are works in progress to varying degrees for example this one's done except for you to install a new mask here is the Maple Admiral 19A15 Black Bakelite uh, Motorola 7VT2 with a uh, chassis not installed currently. And the Brown Bakelite 7VT3, a bit less common, didn't even know this existed until fairly recently. And then here is a rather rare Raytheon Belmont 7 inch set. Got this quite recently, haven't done a video on it yet. Got it from a collector who's retiring to Florida and wanted to lighten his collection a bit. And here is a 8 inch Monorail 9T1 and a black Bakelite Admiral 19A12. All situated very nicely, securely, snugly. So I'm very happy with the way this turned out, but as great as it is, it isn't actually all my sets. I still have a 7-inch Motorola suitcase set, an 8-inch Motorola suitcase set, a brown Bakelite Admiral 1911, and several others, Halicrafters push-button set, uh, Emerson 7-inch set, so who knows, one of these days I may be making another one, but for now, this is great. Definitely made use of my high ceilings. So that also freed up this so I can take this shelf out and put in two larger sets and put one up there as well. So that's going to be it for this little project. Hope you enjoyed this little project of making a compact, tall, skinny shelving system for early 7 inch TVs.